Hey guys, and welcome to Smells Like Teen Angst. My name is Sarah, and I am here to talk about the new Netflix original movie, Metal Lord. I absolutely love this movie. When it comes to coming of age stories, typically I find that they're mostly told from a female perspective. So it was really refreshing to see a story that wasn't. Metal Lords tells the story of two best friends, Hunter and Kevin. Hunter is played by newcomer Adrian Greensmith, and Kevin is played by Jaden Martell, whom we all know from It, which is also weirdly another boy coming of age story with a girl thrown in it. Anyway, these two kids are trying their best to form a heavy metal band. Hunter plays guitar and Kevin is a drummer in like school band. And Hunter's dream is for them to win the battle of the bands. Where on the surface, this just seems like two boys who want to play in a band and whatever. The core of this story has so much heart and so much depth. Metal Lords is written by D.B. Weiser, Dan Weiss, that we all know from Game of Thrones. So I was actually surprised by how great this story was. Not because he's not a good writer, but like I only know him from a fantasy world. So to see this like realistic, grounded, angsty, angry coming of age story was really nice and really fun and funny. And I say no Yoko's. That was inappropriate. I completely agree. I'm talking about you. The Yoko Ono of the band, as Hunter calls her, is Emily, played by Isis Hainsworth. This story deals with so much more than just like boys like girls, boys join band. It really is a story of powerful male friendship and angst and emotions and all the things that we go through when we're young, but told through the story of music. It's nothing personal, Emily. It's just you're not consistent with the image we're trying to project. One of my favorite scenes was obviously written for the adults watching the movie, and it is when Kevin is having a struggle of consciousness, and so the little angel and devil on his shoulder are some of the most iconic heavy metal musicians. I love that Metal Lords is the story of how music kind of saves these kids. I know when I was younger growing up, music was absolutely my lifeblood. There were certain albums I put on that my mother knew not to knock on my door. So being able to see Hunter and Kevin kind of do the same thing and go through the same process. And I love that they use music in such a special way because music is such a universal language and music absolutely can save your life. Wow, that just got real serious. Metal is the key to everything. Take off the costume, Krusty the Clown. Music is the lifeblood of these characters and especially someone like Hunter. This movie is Aiden Greensmith's first feature and he kills it like a pro. He takes Hunter and makes him such a lovely, relatable character, regardless of your status in high school. I found all of these kids to be incredibly relatable, whether you were an awkward outcast, whether you were the kid who was a little bit of a follower who needed to stand up to their friends, whether you're someone who was finding love for the first time, someone who needed an outlet for all the anger they had pent up inside of them because of whatever is going on in your life and at home. This movie does not dismiss young people's emotions and feelings. Instead, it validates them in a way that makes it really palatable for those watching. So if you're looking for a really fun movie to watch over the weekend, if you're wanting to reminisce about your love of life and music, make sure to check out Metal Lords. I promise it's gonna surprise you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm Sarah. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, thumbs up this video, comment, let me know what you think of the movie, and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any more angsty videos.